Okay, people, hopefully I can collect my thoughts on what I want to say on this video. Um, I don't want to come across as a heifer or being ugly, but I want to get it off my chest and get it out there to everyone. Um, because I don't know, y'all may have had this happen to you. Uh... I, first of all, want to say to all the people in Japan right now, I am so, so sorry that this has happened to y'all. I've been praying for y'all, and God bless y'all, and it, that is horrible, and I feel like me getting upset over what I'm about to talk about is kind of stupid in a way when things like that are going on in the world. You know, but I feel like I have to get it off my chest. It's sort of like the crown brush thing. I have, I have to tell y'all. Um, so, <clears throat> I ran across this girl's channel, Italian Amy, and she had a video up. I, you know, I thought she was new at this, just starting out and all, and I wanted to support, you know, leave a comment, be nice. And, and her makeup looks were really nice. And she messaged me back. And somehow or another, we got to talking about the Urban Decay Alice in Wonderland palette. And I'm like, oh my God, you got that? I said, I would give my big toe for that palette. And she was like, well, do you want to swap? And I said, yeah, what, what would you like to swap? And she said, well, I don't have any MAC products. And, you know would you be willing to do that? So I had two palettes from the De Devoted Poppy collection. I mean, this, this collection was like a while back. This is like back when I worked at Clinique. And um, they were, one of them was the purple, all the little purples, and another one was like the browns and the blues. And then I gave her one single MAC eyeshadow in a green shade that I cannot remember the name of because my memory has left me since the seizures. And I gave her, I want to say two, yeah, two MAC lipsticks. So she got two palettes that were, they were used, the purple, the purple one was used the most. Um, but I mean, it, none of them had hit pan or anything. And, um, she got two of those, the single eyeshadows and two lipsticks. So that's a hundred dollars right there worth of stuff just for the Urban Decay palette. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all may hear a little noise in the background, but I had to plug my computer back in and I don't want it to die on me. Anywho, let me get on with the story. Uh, her and I exchanged um, addresses and I told Daniel about it, and he was like, well, if you're sure if that's what you want to do, that's fine with me. I mean, it's your makeup. So I sent her my stuff, and I kept in contact. I made sure that it got to her, and she was happy with it. I, we sent photos back and forth, to, so we saw what the products looked like. And her Urban Decay palette was missing um, the primer potion and an eyeliner that came with the palette, but I was like, that don't matter to me, you know, I just, I just really want the shadows. So, um, she loved it, and I kept in contact with her, and, um, didn't hear from her anymore, and I didn't get anything in the mail, and this girl is in the U.S., so it should have made it to me by now, especially if my friend Laura from Scotland stuff has already made it to me. So... I email her here and there, you know, I don't want to bother, I mean, I didn't want to be bothering her, and she told me about some family issues that um, were going on, so I was understanding of that, you know, people have lives, things happen, and, you know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, maybe something seriously severe has happened, and I, I don't want to be, like, hating on this girl, because I don't know for sure what has happened. But I know that she has not contacted me. I have not seen anything in the mail. I've contacted her and said, hey, do you have a tracking number? I mean, even 
I mean, I'll call and ask about the tracking number, like, where is this, you know, has it fallen off the face of the earth, or, you know, and, or just contact me and say, you know what, I'm not going to swap, I'm not, I, 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 I changed my mind, I don't want to swap, but you know what, if you, if she don't want to swap, I want my things back, because the understanding we had was, I sent her something, and she sent me something, so, And I hate putting it out there like and I, like she's this horrible person because in the end we're really talking about makeup. You know, it's so trivial, makeup really. But it's the principle of the thing. And this theme has come up a lot in my life where I have given and given and been the one that was done over. And I don't know, I need to learn that lesson and move on. Uh, I was really wanting that palette, and I was just like, you know, let me send her enough to where she feels like she didn't get gypped. I never want anyone to feel gypped. So I sent more. One of my friends was like, you sent her way too much. You sent her way too much for that palette. But I just was so thankful of her wanting to trade because I knew it. that was a hot commodity when it came out, okay? And just the pop-up part of it, how the the little pop-up thing that came out, I thought it was so cool. And, you know, the other day I got so mad about it, I was like crying. And then I'm thinking, Stephanie, stop it, girl. It is eyeshadow. And there are people right now that, you know, are just thankful to be alive, you know, with this natural disaster that's happened. And here I am talking about makeup. I go between that and being upset that I got gypped. So it happened back in January, and I, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get anything. And and my makeup was basically stolen. So I'm just saying, y'all be careful if you do any swaps with this person, because you may not get anything in return. Um, and I emailed her and let her know. I said, I'm going to talk about this on my channel. And she's had enough time to contact me back. I contacted her through her Google um, uh, mail and through YouTube mail on her channel. So, I don't know. I have no idea. But, Amy, if you are watching this, um, I'm more hurt than I'm mad. I wish that you would contact me. If something is going on, you know, because I know you told me about the issues with your family, you know, let me know. I am a reasonable person. And, um, or if you decided, hey, that you didn't want to trade, I would really like my things back because it's wrong of you to take something and not give something in return when that was our deal. Um, I, I'm trying to be as tactful as I can about this because it's stupid to get ugly and hateful about something as ridiculous as makeup, but we had a deal, and um, I stuck to my end, and you didn't, and um, I just, I don't understand. I just really want to hear from you, so if you're watching this, please message me, and I'll update this video and let, them know, let my people know that, you know, you did contact me, but more than likely, I'm never going to hear from her again. So, if any of y'all make a deal to swap, first of all, please stick to what you say you're going to do and do it, which I know most of y'all out there will. And second of all, know the person really well, because I just started talking to her out of the blue. I can talk to a stop sign. And... I assumed she was going to do what I was going to do and truly follow through with it. So just be careful, y'all. That's, that's all I'm saying is be careful when you do swaps. Money and makeup and all of this does not fall off trees. You know, and the things are tight everywhere. And, and I thought that this would be a good way of me being able to get the palette and her to get some MAC. So... Oh, well, I've rambled on enough about this, but um, I just wanted to 
let y'all know in case anybody is to swap with her or runs across her site, Italian Amy, be aware. So, thank y'all for listening. If you made it this far, um, please, please, if you leave a hater comment, I'm gonna delete it. I, I'm not trying to hate on anyone. I'm not trying to be a heifer at all. I'm just putting the facts out there. So, thank y'all for watching and peace.